Thanks, Julie. So, so. Yeah, mate, can do. Brian, first half seemed to start really well, really positive, but second half was a completely different story. What do you think happened in the second half? Absolutely. Um, this is the Premier League. You have to you have to be ready for the whole game. Um, I thought the first half we played a very good match. Probably had a few opportunities to score, maybe a couple of more, a couple of openings. But yeah, of course, the second half the intensity dropped, um, and we got punished. We got punished. It's the Premier League. You you have to expect that. Um, so very, very, very disappointed with the the second half performance. And that's 62 goals conceded in the Premier League this season. Last season, defensively, one of the strongest in the league. What's been the big difference you've seen this season? I'm not too sure. Obviously, we're conceding a lot of goals um, for different reasons. But I thought today we, we showed a lot of courage in the first half. We, we were brave. We, we played a very good match with the ball. But the second half, you know, it, I thought the intensity dropped quite a lot. Um, which I think is understandable to a certain extent because we've been probably working a different way for such a long time and um, we just needed to take our opportunities when they come in the first half. The second half, they they really took theirs. Um, it's the same thing again. I think maybe they had three or four shots on target uh, and they scored three goals. So, difficult to take. Well, a terrific goal from Harry Kane, but he was waving to the crowd at the end. Is there a potential that could be the last time Tottenham see him at home this, like, for the future? No, he waves at the crowd every season. I remember sitting here two years ago um, and you guys were convinced he was leaving, saying the same thing. It's, it's, the last, it's the last home game of the season, so he wants to show his appreciation to the, to the support that he's received and we've all received this season. You mentioned that the intensity <laughs> dropped in the second half. Why do you think that was? Like I said, maybe a combination of different things. Um, I say we probably were asking them to do something they haven't done for a while in terms of having a higher line and, and being a little bit, bit more front foot and I think to, to do that for 90-95 minutes you probably need to train it for, for a consistent amount of time um, which we haven't had but I thought there was lots of positives in, in the first half um, I certainly took a lot of positives um, I know we will see the result, absolutely, because that is ultimately what it's all about. But if, if I look at the first half and uh, the courage, the intensity, the bravery that we played with and without the ball, I thought it was a very positive first half. But yeah, like I say again, you, it's, it's not just one half of football. You have to you have to do it for a whole game. Right, uh, Dejan Kuzeski playing more of a number ten role. Is always said that's his more favoured role. Do you see long term that being more of a role? For I'm not sure. I think um, he, he can operate probably central and on the right side very well. We wanted to bring some pace in, in Danjuma today and, and have two players high and wide and sort of threatening behind as much as possible. And we got in the pocket so many times with Harry and Decky in that first half and um, created quite a few openings. Um, they made some crucial blocks. I think their keeper in the second half made a couple of good saves as well. Um, but yeah, Decky's a player that we like. Want him to add more goals to his game, absolutely. But he's young, and I think he'll be important for this club going forward. You're a Tottenham man through and through. It must hurt a lot to see a lack of honour with so many empty seats and fans left. Of course, um, it's understandable because of how this probably the second two thirds of the season have gone um, on and off the pitch. But ultimately, we know that fans will be there next season this club will, will keep moving forward and we need to now's the time we need to be stronger than ever um, believe in what we're going to do commit to it have people that are committed to it and then like I always say I think in football things uh, things can change very quickly and the energy can can change quickly what needs to happen so that in 12 months time the lack of honour is a full house and it's you know the season to be proud I think these conversations, there's many different conversations that need to happen. Um, but ultimately, I, th I think I've probably said it quite a bit, that we need to commit to something and be consistent with it um, and then have people, staff, players here who are committed to it too. And, and I think that transfers to everyone else. And um, yeah, that's what we need to do, I think. Okay, thanks guys. Thank you. Cheers.